Hello and welcome to Fulda, which is in uh, Germany, in Hesse. And Fulda is in the eastern part of Hesse. It's almost bang in the center of Germany. Uh, but uh, 35 years ago, this was almost on the East German border, was still in West Germany. Now it's uh, Thuringia. Thuringia was in East Germany and uh, now it's a separate estate uh, from Hesse, but it's all in Germany. And uh, so this is the very first camper van fair here in Fulda. It's a comparatively small event, but there is, according to my calculation, uh, more than 100 vehicles here. So, I mean, that's uh, pretty good going on a four-day event. The weather's not looking too bright, but uh, that's the way. Anyway, I'm going to take you around, show you one or two of the things that we've got here. And, uh, of course, by the time this gets uploaded, then uh, the event will be over. But unfortunately, that's the way it is. So I'll just give you a, a brief look over here. Heimer crossover, um, wonderful 4x4 vehicle. And here is the first time I've seen outside the Heimer Venture S motorhome. This thing here will cost a quarter of a million euros. I kid you not. And that's with an empty fuel tank. And uh, so this vehicle, which was launched only three weeks ago it's got its tent in the roof open and uh, now the I mean it looks pretty cool and all the rest of it but the the tent in the roof which I think is really clever in some ways it's manufactured by a company called X glue and uh, so it's insulated on three sides but not it's got this door at the top there can't totally ridiculous and which isn't insulated and uh, can't understand the logic of that there may be some logic to it but I don't know what it is uh, let's have a look inside though from here um, I mean totally revolutionary concept as far as uh, uh, motorhomes go it's quite thin it's 600 and uh, 600, oh, how much is it? 672 centimeters long it's very high um, so obviously it's on a 4x4 basis uh, sleeps 4 because you can make a bed down here below on, next to the balcony um, um, can I call it a balcony? yeah I can call it a balcony or a deck I could call it maybe um, another thing that people have said is it's totally impractical because it, it's got completely open well it's not completely open because there is a mosquito screen there it's hidden at the moment well I can see it actually but the, but uh, anyway, so you can see more on that in different uh, uh, videos. But uh, anyway, so we've got one or two other uh, Heimer vehicles. Uh, right now, we've got one here though. This is the Heimer Grand Canyon crossover. This is about 126,000 or something like that. And well, it's got fantastic looking decals on the outside. Looks uh, looks just the job. Uh, I really like this black and green colour. I bet I'd really like that 4x4 kit it's got on there. I'm not so keen on a tent in the roof. It's a short uh, wheelbase. Uh, the short, short, uh, it's not short. Uh, <laughs> it's the shortest Mercedes Sprinter which you can stand up in. There you go. 126,500. But what this has got, which is interesting here, you can see you've got lots of place there for, for storage. You can make a bed at the back, but I'll hang on, you can't sleep in a Mercedes. It's not wide enough. Well, I'll show you it is. And up there, it's got the tent in the roof. Now, for a vehicle of this uh, small footprint, I think there's lots and lots of space in here. So let's go outside and see the really clever, well, not really clever, I mean, the really clever bits. Lots of really clever bits, but one of the really clever bits are these flares like that. So what happened was the flares on the old trousers. Uh, so now the flares are on the motorhomes. This sticks out here like that. Notice the door, so still a bit of room there. But the one on the other side is absolutely enormous so that allows the bed to go in the back and that I think is pretty clever in my opinion uh, right good so we have here this company Roan Camp here 
and uh, so I went to them to actually film. I waited three hours uh, for them to actually become ready and then uh, I was asked to go and stand in the corridor. And so, anyway, I thought of having, after I made the effort to go to them, especially having made an appointment, and they treated me like that, just imagine how they're going to treat somebody uh, when uh, they've uh, <laughs> taken the money off them. So, I'm not, uh, not going to recommend them. <laughs> uh, here is, we have this company, Abel Camp, which is the largest um, exhibitor uh, here. And they are a dealer from nearby here. They brought 55 vehicles with them, including some new ones. They have Trigano vehicles, including these really wonderful Contura from Euromobile and others. So the Profile from Euromobile and there's Integras. I've uh, got some Foster ones, which are, so what's it say? It's, it's like a, a cheaper version of Euromobile. Not cheaper, I say it's like 85,000 or something. It's 85,000 instead of 120,000. But uh, it, uh, it's, only, it's, only, it's, only, it's only comparative. And uh, so I've filmed quite a few of these. And uh, I don't think I want to get to film everything. But there should be quite a number actually filmed before I leave. And there we have some Volkswagen uh, campers. I mean, I think they, they look. I think they look quite good. I, mean, I like this two-color look, this sort of traditional one. But, uh, that's that's my that's just my my opinion. Uh, okay, Foster uh, Foster vehicles. I think are very bright. That's something which appeals to me. I really like the the lighting inside. Fortunately, only available in Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. Here's Carmen Mobile 4x4 Transit. Uh, and uh, this this vehicle was brought out for the 2020 season. Uh, off-road vehicles got some quite impressive off-road uh, features. I, I saw uh, a video of a test run, which I thought was quite good. You can see, you can see how much storage is in there. And uh, I can't really see much from there. Okay, I'll, I'll go on. I'll go around the other way here. And it comes in two versions. It comes one with a uh, lengthwise bed, which is this one, and it comes with a widthwise bed. And the widthwise bed comes with a bench and a table. You see, you have to put the table out like that. And if you're in the driver's seat down there, you won't have to do any work in the kitchen because the person's going to have to do the work in the kitchen. So we're sitting in the passenger seat. But it does make sense to use the seats for living as well. Um, got some here. The uh, Davis uh, camper van, these are six meter. This one's here six meter, and the other two are 636 centimeters, all on a Fiat Ducato uh, basis. And uh, right, uh, automobile profiler, Activa One. Uh, there's, uh, Acti there's one Activa One, which I think with a, a, a rear um, lounge, which I think is particularly attractive vehicle it's not here though <laughs> uh, they also bought some used vehicles down there and there's not many used vehicles around at the moment uh, one uh, i've contact people to ask them what the, the current state of stock is and the state of stock in many cases is quite uh, quite weak anyway so you've got a price there says ab means from 59,600 um, yeah, well, but uh, there's so much added on that the uh, the base price and that sort of goes up uh, no end. Oh, we've got some interesting sort of equipment here, which I shall point out. A couple of pieces of interesting kit here. I shall come over here immediately and to show the this um, bike. Uh, raising uh, equip this um, can take 550 kilos can be loaded in the back of a van it might just gonna have to be a pretty good van it can take the weight of 550 kilos in the garage because most of them can't that itself weighs 78 kilos the winch oh, sorry <coughs> so that's that's something which is quite new from this kind of Huna cup and if I come in here I shall show you this and uh, what we've got here is this van, which is a 
a, a joint effort with uh, Iveco and as you can see we've got all the way to the back we've got these uh, guide rails here and the bed has been fixed in uh, using the guide rails obviously you're going to need a spanner uh, to to re release that but what the this modular approach does mean that it gives all sorts of possibilities inside and in here we've got a toilet there you go from Tom Tour it's a composting toilet and my friend who did this van said that he hasn't looked back since getting one of them but uh, look at uh, all this uh, the light coming in here obviously this is uh, uh, needs to be just ideas this is just the beginning and uh, right uh, you've got some vans here from Carrado and Etrusco which I think are for rent we've got the German army here so I had a bit of a chat with them sort of uh, sharing sharing war stories and uh, let's have a look what else we've got so we're inside oh I want to show this other bit of a kit yeah which I thought re really appeals to me which is here there's a wood burner it's a rather fancy wood burner thing it's obviously you can't use it inside your van uh, but it's the smallest wood burner I have ever seen and there it is it's 160 euros that re that sort of really appeals to me I've forgotten how much it weighs but 12 kilos or something but, uh, it can give up to 10 kilowatts of heat up to uh, I suppose the lower end says 2 kilowatts but even that's quite a lot really. unfortunately you can't it, it needs to be um, need an exhaust need a chimney or something so uh, you can't use it indoors or if you do you have to leave the door open which is a pity and uh, all right I ought to go and show you some of the stuff inside some of the tents but on the left we've got some uh, other equipment and uh, bikes and um, and on the right we'll go into this hall here and uh, have, have a look now it's the first time this has been done and as such I think this is really quite impressive because there is uh, so many people here oh, there's a company here which uh, does rentals and uh, uh, two days ago I was in Mülheim which is the camper the motorhome street the motorhome mile or something they call it, it was three and a half kilometers in fact this mile and uh, there was somebody who'd been to every single place and uh, trying to rent a vehicle and he couldn't and that's in September anyway so I'd like to take you into this other hall but I can't because they're playing music out there so unfortunately that one is dead but I'll do that in part two so for the moment I've just given you uh, this is part one so we'll do part two later and uh, which will be a walk around that hall so for the moment though thanks very much for watching hope you found it interesting and that is a quick look at this event which is happening for the first time and if it happens if it's a success they'll do one again next year in september but for the moment thanks for being with me and all the best from Fulda.